Okay, this next one we have a, a period and phase shift we want to find. Uh, it's a cotangent graph, so period is still going to be pi over b. So we're going to do pi over the number in front of the x, and so that's going to flip and give you a, a 2 pi. For the phase shift, because it's a cotangent graph, it's just going to be c over b only in this case. So the formula here is c over b. We don't have that minus part afterwards because that's only for tangent graphs. Now in this case, we do not have a number that comes after the x there. So because there's no number there, that means that your c value this time is going to be a 0. So we have 0 over 1 half, which is going to give you a 0 for your phase shift. So now I know that my PS is going to be equal to 0. That's your first key point. To find the other ones, we're going to find our half point. Okay, so half point is always your period that you found divided by 2. So 2 pi divided by 2 is going to give you a pi. So this pi is what we're going to be adding to our phase shift. Now some of these you don't have to write out all your steps from that. So if we're just adding pi every time, you're just going to have 0, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi. So it's not necessary to write out the steps every single time on these. If you have fractions, it's a good idea too, but some of these pr problems like this one, it's not necessary to do. So what I'll do is I'm just going to jump right into the, the graph and just put that information here. Here is the, the 0, and I have, I'm at, if I take 0 and add pi, I get a pi. If I add a pi to that, I get 2 pi and then 3 pi and then 4 pi, just like that. So this one, it's not necessary to show all those steps like that one. If you can already see the pattern, it's not necessary to write all those steps like I've done for the previous problems in this section. Now the first one uh, gets the vertical asymptote, so the y-axis is a vertical asymptote here. The middle one is a vertical asymptote, and then the last one gets a vertical asymptote. So we have these here. Uh, now in this case, the, there's not really a, sh uh, a vertical shift we have. We can put 1 and negative 1 here. The graph is going to go in the same direction as the normal base graph does. So because I don't have a negative in front of the cotangent, Cotangents normally will fall as you go from left to right. So I'm going to put a dot here and then one down there. I'll put another one here and here. And so then the graph is going to fall and do this. And this one will fall and do that. So it'll look like this. These are your uh, two periods we have, two cycles for that. They normally will fall. So the base graph of cotangent, they do fall as you go from left to right, which is the reason why uh, they look this way. Uh, there's, no, there's no flips happening on this one, and there's no vertical stretches either.